Hey guys, it's Tara. So I'm here with my first ever project um, for the Creative Embellishments blog. We did ha we did have a challenge project um, at the beginning of the month, um, but we didn't like post about it blog wise. So this is my first um, project that I will be posting on their blog with details and um, all the products I used. And I wanted to just make a quick video and show you. Um, kind of what I did and what products I used, where you can find them, and, you know, all that sorts of good stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to share my project with you. I made this 7-inch Altered Artist palette, and I'm going to just flip it over, and it might look like a mess on the back. Eh, it's not that bad. But this is actually a piece of chipboard, the um, art palette itself is from Creative Embellishments, and this is the 7-inch one. Um, this is the only one I had, so I don't have another one um, to show you. But this is what I created. I hope you guys can see it okay. And I will post the link to the blog and to the store so that you guys can see all the products and um, close-up pictures and stuff of this project. So... I'm just going to go through like a step-by-step -step thing on what I did. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing that I did was I really left my um, chipboard pretty bare. The first thing um, that I did was I took these. There's actually four different tissue tapes right here um, by Tim Holtz. And I covered like my entire background of this art palette. And... I know now it's kind of hard to see, but it adds, like, I don't know if you could see little pieces throughout here. It just adds a lot of texture, and, like, right here you could see the text, and I did put some over here. It just adds kind of, like, a background to the whole thing. So that was kind of my starting point. Um, and then I took some gesso with um, my palette knife and kind of just rubbed it like everywhere over the palette, kind of just making it look messy. Um, I wanted it to really be like mixed media, totally sloppy in like an artistic way. So this is like just a mumble jumble put together and it just looks awesome. And that's my favorite kind of art. So I was really happy with the way this came out. So after I did that with the gesso, I used my texture paste or modeling paste, and sorry for my dirty stencil, but I used this stencil right here, this um, chicken wire right here, and then there are some um, little, like, um, what are these, like coffee stains kind of, and I used those just with some white um, modeling paste. And then I also used um, just permanent black ink and this honeycomb stamp from Prima, which... You can see it right there and right here, and I kind of did it all over. So, And sorry, guys, I just feel like I need to keep picking it up so that you can see it closer. Um, and then I went along with my sprays, and I used quite a few different sprays. Um, most of them are by Glimmer Mist. Um, I used this one right here, which is Marshmallow, and that's just a white. I use this one right here, which is dark denim. It's like a really dark navy, almost like a gray. I use this one right here, Black Magic. And this one actually, like you can see on the bottom, it's like got a gold hue to it, so which I liked. And then this is the only other Heidi Swap one I used, which was gold. I wanted to have like kind of a gold accent. I use this one right here, which is almost black. And then this one is like super, super blue, and it's a sapphire. I only used a little bit of this, but I wanted to bring out the blues of the denim and the flowers. Um, so you can see kind of all the splattering. Um, and then I went ahead and used all my embellishments. So I used um, this right here, which is the Distressed Chicken Wire. I have two of them. just so you could, This is a full one, so you could see how big it is. And this is from Creative Embellishments. Um, that whole thing, I have cut up, like, several times. I get a lot of use out of that. Um, I will put the link in the description box. But I used it right here and right there as well. 
And then this is another piece from Creative Embellishments that says unique. And it is part of a word set that looks like this. It's called the unique word set. Um, it comes with understanding, honest, humble, confident, and then unique. So you get all those in that. And um, this piece down here, I kind of left very simple. All I did was um, brushed it like with my finger with some of this gold metallic paint kind of just to match my pro you know my whole thing and and you know it kind of came together that way okay I used some of these denim flowers right here and these are just from Michaels from the make market collection I used two of those one here and one there I used um, one of these dark navy rolled roses and these are from recollections from Michaels as well I used one of these Prima um, white flowers right here in the middle I used one of those and then these this is like a Prima spray and I cut a few of the clear gems off and I'll show you there's one right there and I kind of just stuck them in there's one right there and then there's another one right there so I did that and then I also used some of these burlap flowers from recollection or leaves burlap leaves and I stuck them in there right here and right here. And then this was just like an old paintbrush from my stash. And I just painted it with gesso. I used some cheesecloth here in the cheesecloth here in the back to kind of raise it all up and give it some dimension. And I also used some cardboard right here. And you know, I always use the Starbucks coffee holders. And I kind of just painted it with gesso just to give it some more layering. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I also used one of these little light bulbs here. Honestly, I don't know where I got these. I think these might be from Hobby Lobby, and I know that Tim Holtz has them, but I used one of those right here and kind of just brushed it with some gesso. And this is another Prima flower that I used right here, and I kind of I sprayed it with my denim spray and went over the stem with gesso just to kind of whitewash it a little bit. I also used like this piece of doily right here and just cut some pieces up and just layered them in throughout here. And then this is one of those um, Michaels resin frames like this, and I actually broke it up. I just wanted to kind of use some of the corners um, and used a piece right here and then right there. And then this right here is empty, but this is um, American Crafts uh, like twine ribbon in black. And I used that kind of just you know put a little bit of that there and then I also used this right here this trim and I cut some of the leaves out and this takes the inks really well the sprays and once I adhered all my embellishments down I did go over and splatter tons with all those sprays I just wanted it like I said to be like really messy really splattery it's an art palette um, it's not supposed to be perfect perfect and then also just to like show you this is the cheesecloth that I use it's from the um medical section and it comes in like little bins like this I think I have a full one they look like this and that's what I use gauze sponges I guess that's what they call it but I'm pretty sure I showed you everything that's kind of what I did there. Just layered it all on. So run on over to the blog. We There's monthly challenges you could play along in the May challenge um, and win some great um, gift certificates for the store to get some awesome, you know, chipboard products. They have stamps. They have flares. They have a lot of stuff. And um, check out the store. Check out their blog. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will post all the links in the description box below. Okay, guys, have a great week. Thank you. Bye.